Good morning, everyone. So today is February 3rd. Um, I thought I'd come to you and explain how I got into freeze drying. So my mom bottled, my grandma bottled, I bottled, I still bottle everything. I've dehydrated, um, as you can see right here, I've got noodles and strawberries. And that shelf will be cleaned off here shortly. The tomatoes I just did right there. Um, I'm reorganizing my food storage right now. So I wanted a different option. And uh, I got my freeze dryer uh, right before the pandemic hit, thank God because there's only been problems with the machines since um, because Harvest Right is trying to fill the needs and wants that everybody wants. Um, just know when you do get your machine, it requires patience, lots of patience to work out the kinks, just like when you have a new car or buy a new house. You have to work out the kinks in your machine. And everybody's machine is different because everybody's house is different and the environment is different so I started with mine out in the garage but during the summer it gets super hot out in my garage and uh, the machines like to be cold so my machine is now down in my basement uh, and it's ran perfect Except for last night. <laughs> so I have had to do the Felix fix uh, a month ago. I did the Felix fix. My machine worked great. I was getting to the point of, whoops, putting it back together. Because <laughs> I have not put the top or the back on. Because I wanted to make sure that it was going to run right. So the load that was supposed to be done for today is not going to be done until probably Saturday. It's the yogurt bites. Um, but that's life. That's, stuff doesn't always happen the way you want it to happen. And so I will show a video on the day that they come out. So I showed you from start to putting it in to the freeze dryer on this video and then when this load comes out I will show you what I do from when they come out to when I either package them in mylar bags or in mason jars so come along hope you like my adventure and my ideas that I use for freeze drying so come on Good morning friends. So today I'm going to show you what I do with yogurt uh, in the freeze dryer. So my daughter is super picky on what she eats. But she will eat yogurt if I freeze dry it. So we're going to fill this pastry bag full of yogurt and then we're going to pipe it into whoops little gummy bear mold and she will devour them that way uh, my boys could care less they'll eat yogurt anyway but she is one of my picky eaters and if I can get her to eat then that is a plus so I have never tried these are little uh, gummy bear molds um, normally I would just do a mold like that. But we are going to try tonight. 
or today, not tonight, to pipe this into these molds. So we're just gonna cut the very end off and see if we can And I forgot there's chunks of cherries. So I'll bring you in closer so you guys can watch the action. Okay, so there's one tray, only 10 more to go. Okay, there's three trays. Um, I don't know if this is even worth my time. So I think I'm just gonna do the bigger molds. But she'll at least have these little ones to play with. Okay, so I gave up on the gummy bear molds. That's too much work for me. So we're just going to fill these stars. So I got done with the gummy bear molds. That was a little more work than I wanted. So. We're gonna try these jelly bean molds from Jello. I got these at our local thrift store for 50 cents a piece. I have three of them. So we'll do one peach, one cherry, and then half of the other one. Okay, so for my ramen noodles, I like to spruce it up. So we'll add a few green beans. <coughs> um, these are all freeze dried. You hear that nice seal. Some corn. A few things of cabbage. And then some nice dehydrated onions. And then to top it off, We're gonna add just a little bit of hamburger. And all these ingredients are uh, freeze dried. I normally have a bottle of mixed vegetables, but I am currently out of that mixture, so I'll be making that. 
So we'll let that come to a boil and then we'll add our noodles. Okay, there's lunch today. Ramen noodles with freeze dried green beans, corn, hamburger, and onion topped off with an egg. So my brain is obviously not working right now. So I just got all the molds filled. Um, these are the jelly bean ones. I stacked those in between with uh, wax paper. Then the hearts and the bees, the Star Wars and the gummy bear molds. And then over here, I have some of the one inch squares of the peach. These two are the cherry and everything else is peach. So these are going to go out into my deep freeze and then later tonight they'll go into the machine. So here are the yogurts that I did earlier today. Samantha is taking out the gummy bears and uh, they're actually really cute. And they're delicious. They're what? Delicious. She says they're delicious. So, but I'm gonna leave those ones in their molds. This uh, strawberry heart one isn't all the way frozen, so they're gonna stay like that. But somebody likes them, and she can't even wait for them to get out of the freeze dryer before she eats them. <laughs> We're going to take them downstairs and put them in the freeze dryer. And eat them tomorrow. Okay, so we're down here at the freeze dryer. And as you can see, I got goobers on my tray holder and then down in the bottom. So we are going to take it apart and then we're going to pull the shelving unit out. And we're going to clean it. Okay. So I'll bring you back when I have it out. Now I have the uh, shelving unit out. We're going to wipe down the shelving unit right here. I have it set up on my washer with a solution of vinegar and water. And I have this nifty bottle brush that sits right inside the the um, the unit in between the trays, and it makes it so much nicer to to wash because my hands they fit in there, but. I just don't want them all cut up from the sharp edges of the metal. So and this you, this last run really got dirty. Oh, my daughter's calling. So just make sure you get your. All the nooks and crannies where your food can get. Because it uh, makes a big difference. Okay, so that's all done. Now I have a washcloth and we're going to go back over here to the story, to storage unit, to the freeze dryer and uh, I do still have a chunk of ice in the back. I didn't use the defrost mode. Um, 
I just let it defrost on its own. And then we'll wipe it down really good. Maybe I used the defrost mode. I think I did. I don't know, my brain's not been working since I had my surgery. Make sure that it's all cleaned out and then I like to take the solution that I have and uh, run some of it down the drain so it clears the the holes out as well. So put that down on the floor. And push that down and we'll let that drain and dry and then we'll put the unit back together. Okay guys, so I just ran a successful load in my large freeze dryer after doing the Felix fix. So this load is not running. I've got the dreaded vacuum thing. <laughs> hey guys. So this is my kitty, Scat is her name. Um, so my yogurt bites are not going to be done by the time this video needs to be posted. So I will post a video of them when they come out. Uh, it's uh, like 8 o'clock at night on the 2nd. Um, I will post all the channels that are in the collaboration and the inquisitive fire and wife is the one that is hosting this you can check her page out as well um, I would love to join any collaborations that you guys have this has been super fun um, I do have two channels in this collaboration I have this channel which is low family homestead and then I have one that will be on the 28th which is low family adventures so I'm going to try and move everything food related in Homestead over to this channel and leave the adventures or travels on the Love Family Adventures page. Um, we would love to hear what you guys think. If I should leave it as one channel, let me know if two channels would be best. That's fine too. I just want to see what works best for people um, make sure you check out the other channels and remember on Fridays at 4 central on the Inquisitive Farm Wife channel she will have giveaways I have not decided what I'm going to give as a giveaway if you guys have ideas let me know and then remember Harvest Right has donated a medium freeze dryer to for someone to win on March 3rd. And that will be a live giveaway over on her channel. Thanks for watching, guys.